What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I welcome you back to another YouTube video. And boy, we are visiting a quite old card now that you think about it. But this is a card I was meaning to meet um, around Lost Thunder, but I just never really got into it at the time. Really, I wasn't really digging it. But now with Jirachi, Mill Tank is quite a formidable card. Um, we have loads of cards now in the release of Team Up that really help us search out item cards. So we have Bill's Analysis, which Here's the beauty. Uh, and we have, well, as I just said, Jirachi, which helps searching out item cards, which is obviously the goal here in this deck to find Moo Moo Milk and to go and KO with Miltank. So with that said, we have just built a little deck here to see if we can get it going. I've tried it out myself and it seems to be pretty decent at doing what it does. And uh, if you don't know Miltank, it hits 60 damage for every Moo Moo Milk in your hand. So if you have all the Moo Moo Milks in your hand, which is quite doable, you'll be hitting 240 damage. Um, choice band, which is 270. You'll be KOing a lot of tag team GXs. So I thought this would be a pretty good time to try this out and see how it goes. We have a pretty strange layout in this deck um, in that we are playing Sophocles as our kind of our primary, well, that's a victory, kind of our primary draw supporter um, because we do not want to play any shuffle draw. And the reason why is because we need the Moomin Milks in our hand. So we're not going to be playing any Cynthia's or anything like that. So we're going to be playing just raw draw. So we have Erica, we have Sophocles. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually, when it comes to our draw supporters. A lot of our stuff is designed to really help us get the Moomin Moo Milks going. And we have Jirachi as our primary engine. And uh, we have just an extra Nangu Orang Oranguru, sorry, if we are struggling in the early game. So it seems to function pretty decently when it comes to achieving our goal. And to be fair, as soon as you have, like a natural Malamar deck, as soon as you have everything set up and going, you don't really need much draw support um, at that point. You know, Malamar can function on its own pretty much, right? Um, same goes with this deck. If you've got the Moomin Milks in your hand, if you've got the energy to get going, uh, you don't really need too much draw. You can just follow up with attack, attack, attack. So... That's just, that's that, anyway, that's what we're trying to do. So with that said, um, hopefully it does pay off here. I don't think we're going to go first considering this person's choosing. So it's a bit rough, but that's fine. Um, we don't really look to go and get a turn two attack anyway. So it's not really going to be good for us. Um, just looking at this here. We need to look at our deck before we play that Gladian. Now, we're playing Gladian just in case we prize some Moo Moo Milks. And we really need damage output. It can be a decent turn to support a bit if, if a turn one, sorry, turn one supporter, sorry. But if we don't have any Moomin Milk's prize, which I want to find out, then we can just discard that with the Sophocles to get some good draw in the early game. So we have to kind of figure that out. Ooh, Gengar, huh? Um, that's kind of interesting, actually. If it's Gengar Omastar, we're kind of we've got to be a bit worried because. Um, we have a lot of item cards in this deck to help us find things. We have a uh, oil pad and stuff, and we rely on nest balls to get stuff out. So, hope this is an Oma Star, but it probably is. Looking at it, I think that's the the most, or that's the best Gengar deck right now. Oh, Jirachi, hello! I got the promo as well. I'm so jelly. Um, that's so cool, actually. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah, although I kind of like this art. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which ones, which ones the best art in your opinion. I kind of like this one. I don't know. I like the promo too. I don't know. Okay, let's sell a wish. We got a Moomoo Moot bet, which is good. Uh, this is how we're gonna find out in our deck. If we flip heads on this order pad, we can find out. So this is quite an important time to hit heads order pad. I'm sh I'm talking to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we risk it? I don't think so. I think what we do is we get rid of you and you, and then we're going to rescue stretch that Malamar back probably later on. Probably next turn, <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, I think we just pass at this point. Not getting a DCE down is a bit rough, or an energy out this turn is, is, is quite a shame, but that should be okay. We've got the tools here to, to get what we want. Still want to Still want to be able to take a look at my deck, though, so... If I can get a Nest Ball or something, that'd be pretty good. We played four Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball. We have a lot of Ball Search. So, to be able to find a ball to be able to search our deck would be really useful. Because I want to know what's going on with our Moo Moo Milks. That's a way to search our deck. Thank you! <laughs> Why do you have a Metal Energy there? What are you doing? What is this? What's going on? 
Why are you playing a Meadow Energy, buddy? Is this is this like an option of Cosmo deck? That makes no sense. I'm really confused. But I'm also intrigued. Hmm. Oh, bringing us down to 120. That's quite bad, actually. I'm genuinely, genuinely intrigued by what is going on here. Because uh, I've realized I'm playing at an ELO where I get quite lucky. I usually play a lot of decks that are quite creative. Like just earlier, I played a Zebra Aura GX deck that was using the Macargo Acceleration en Engine. It was kind of cool. Um, and I might do something similar. Not with Zebra Aura because, well, just Pikarom is better off that. But, you know, you're better off using Pikarom. Um, so it's just a Malamar. Maybe it is Ultra Necrozma, hence why there's a Metal Energy. Or are they really putting in Metal Energy for Jirachi? That doesn't seem right. Um, that does not seem natural. Okay, let's look at our deck here. Let's get rid of... Ooh, <laughs> all these cards are good. Okay, we're getting rid of Sophocles because we're going to be able to do a... Okay, we have them all. Now we should have gotten rid of the Gladian, but you know, you, you can never tell, can you? Um, we're going to be able to do an Erika, which is what we want. Um, getting a Malamar out is not really that crucial just yet. So let's see if we get some more Moomoos. We don't! But that's fine. Um, throw you down, throw you down. We will get this out and throw probably you down, actually. Sometimes two Malamar can be really good in this deck. This deck tends to sometimes struggle, so... Oh, we haven't done Celewish yet. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Come on. Come on. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. I just got so excited there. I didn't even know what to say. Um, flip heads. Yeah, yikes. Okay, we're going to retreat into this one. We have the switch to work with, so we don't have to worry too much. Uh, and get another moon moon milk. Oh, yeah. Beautiful stuff. We don't have any energy to work with just yet, so we're just going to probably leave this Jirachi in the active and then pass. Um, I think that's what we're going to do for now. We don't even have energy in the discard pile to really utilize the Malamar. So I'm not going to waste the rescue stretcher just yet. We can stop the Achilles next turn. Uh, if we draw if we draw a card that's just kind of dead. Um, we can get rid of the Gladian and that card in the Sophocles. So that would be pretty good. Kind of like that idea a lot. Um, okay, so this guy's definitely doing... Some sort of Malamar toolbox deck some some sort of malamar box <laughs> clearly um that's probably what they're doing but right, i need to th i need to think about what we need to target so obviously we want to get the gengar but if, if we get the free prices there that'd be really dope we actually just hit one shot that thing i knew they were playing optional cosma if they bench that that's going to be really good for us because that would really help us okay that's because uh we want to target the high hp gx pokemon to take the prizes quickly so, yeah, we actually one-shot Gengar with no da damage modification. As long as we have four Moo Moo Milks, which is quite a bit ask, quite a big ask, sorry, um, then we can take out the Gengar. So, that's pretty dope. All right, so if they retreat, they're probably going to attack this Jirachi and KO it. In that sense, we really need Moo Moo Milks. Okay. All right. Uh, actually, I don't mind Sophocleasing now. That's pretty dope. Pretty sick. Okay. If we get a Malamar, then we've got an attack. Okay, we've got we definitely got an attack. I'll tell you that. Uh, that's that's for certain. Um, I think we I think we've got to think here a little bit first. Let's go for a Stella Wish. No Moo Moo Milk, but we are gonna get an uh, get a choice band. Let's do that, and let's do a switch into another Jirachi and do another Stella Wish. Hopefully, hit a Moo Moo Milk. We do. Oh, it's juicy. Um, this stuff is juicy. Let's go for an energy here. Let's go for a Malamar acceleration there. And I think we just retreat and take the KO on the active Jirachi. We are going to invite a knockout though. So I think that's just where we're going to be. I think regardless, if they get a retreat next turn, they're going to get a knockout. So I think we just got to take this KO. And let the bench mill tank follow up, which should be a lot easier to do with uh, us losing the psychic on the active mill tank and Viridian Forest doing us a favor as well. So I think we're good. Maybe Viridian Forest could be something we could play. We could play Shrine, but I don't like, I'm not a big fan of that right now in, in this deck. It really does slow its tempo down. So I'm a bit, a bit cautious on the stadiums. Um, don't need to switch. Don't need to rescue stretch. We could rescue stretch another Malamar, but I'd rather mix Malamar and Mill Tanks back into the deck. 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's just reveal two for now. We don't need to reveal all three. Sometimes we don't want them to think we have it. Because if we revealed all three, then they know we just need a choice ban for that Ultra Necrozma to get a KO. So if we just reveal two, then they think we're further off from having it than we actually are. So it's a bit of a bit of a mind game when you play Mill Tank. Bit of a mind game. Oh, that's a good Erica there. Drawing six cards. Yikes. We could really be super crazy and then like switch. Jirachi, switch, Jirachi, retreat into the mill tank. But it depends. We have to see what we get off this first Jirachi here though. But getting another mill tank down is not going to be a problem. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, as long as we have stream streaming attacks, then we're good. Uh, we are really susceptible to Gengar's attacks. So taking that down is going to be the priority. Obviously. Um, that would be the game winner though, so we have to take out that Gengar because that's going to really screw us up <laughs> because it's going to be hitting 200 damage on us every single turn with our strategy in mind, so it's kind of a bad matchup in that sense, but if we have all four Moomin Milks, we're one-shotting it, so I guess it's kind of like a 50-50 depending on uh, the board state. Um, okay, so priority, getting another, another mill tank down. We do have another attack. But I'd like a DCE. Uh, let's attach you here. And yeah, just in case of field blower, I'm going to hold on to the other escape board. Let's sell a wish, see what we get. We get our fourth Moomin Milk. So we are one shot in that thing all day, every day. That's good news. And we will... See, I, I need to play... Viridian Forest to get an energy, right? I don't want to discard the Rescue Stretcher, the Escape Board, and the Choice Band. And I don't want to discard the Switch. Do I just... Well, I've got to accelerate to the Mill Tank now. And we've got to get an energy through the Viridian Forest. So, do I retreat here and then force myself to play the switch? I think that's what we do. If we get a dead card off this Jirachi, we'll just discard that. So, here we go. Dead card, order pad. We'll use the, we'll discard the order pad then with the Viridian Forest and then play the switch to get the mill tank up and get the KO. That's what we're going to do. Sweet. Again, we're not going to show them that we got it. Mm -mm -mm. It ain't going to happen. We ain't going to show it. We are just going to simply play the switch, show three cards, get the KO. That's what we're going to do. One, two, three. Skadoosh. On your go, on your bike. <laughs> there we go. 210, uh, two prizes. And uh, what have we got? We got a DCE? No DCE. Have we seen DCE? We have seen DCE once. There's still three. Um, not really much jaw to work with, though. Not really much energy search either. Um, the. Oh, actually, tell a lie. We have game next turn, actually. If they attack with this Gengar, we've got game. Definitely have game. Because um, all we got to do is get the second Malamar out from the discard pile with Rescue Stretcher. And uh, double Malamar, Viridian Forest game. Good. We've got game. Yay. Yeah. Oh, this excites me. We are absolutely wrecking. Um, <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool. I don't think they see it coming. Oh, yeah. I really don't think they see it coming. So this video might be a short one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just uh, see if they do actually do what I expect them to do. If that made any sense. I hope it did. Which is that they are going to attack with the Gengar. If they do, that's game. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> that's me. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain we have game. Now, obviously, the biggest flaw when playing this deck is uh, Marshadow and Judge. And the new and upcoming card, which... Um, oh, my God. I'm super, super, super pumped about it. I think it's like Reset Stamp, I think it's called. And it's pretty much... But it's pretty much N. If you don't know this card, it's like an item version of N. It's broken. And it's going to be coming out soon. So, yeah, that would ruin this deck as well. Um, right. Game is on the horizon here. Game is on the horizon. Do we have the energy in deck, though? That's interesting. That's an interesting thought. So that's three in there. Uh, we should have it in deck. Yeah, we should. Um, let's be safe here. Make sure we do. 
We do. Oh, yeah, there we go, the game. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. We don't even need to fish for a Jirachi. Uh, sorry, fish for a, a choice band or anything. Raw 240 damage off a basic mill tank. That's what we're doing. That's where we're at, and that's what we're going. Let's try, let's have some fun. Let's see if we can find the choice band. We don't. Here's what it is. Let's go and let's go and let's go and take the game. Let's go and take the game. So let's say. Uh, oh no! I misclicked. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I'm so I'm another level of stupid. The funny thing is, I have no meal tanks left. Uh, yeah, this is stupidly bad. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh no. I already see it happening. I already see a Guzma coming out and taking out this mill tank. I see it happening so much. Oh, don't. 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 <laughs> don't do this to me. Please don't end my world. Please don't do this. You don't have to do this. You, do, you really don't. You don't have to do it, man. Please. Please don't. Come on. No! <laughs> oh no! Oh, it's the end of the world. <laughs> okay. I I don't know how to react. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Um Yeah. So, um we we won that game. That doesn't say defeat. That's it. That's that's a green tech saying victory. What are you talking about? Oh my god. I am an idiot. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Come on. Let's be real. That can't happen in a real life game. All right? You don't sit there with your cards and be like Whoops! Misclick and then bring out the wrong card. No, that doesn't happen. That was a win. Shh. We won that one. I'm so stupid. <laughs> How can I misclick? I'm not even going to blame the mouse. It's all my fault. I'm stupid. Right. That was a win. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it was a win, okay? Um, oh my god, that was terrible. Anyway. The deck is Absolute Flames. Go try it out. It's super fun. It's super powerful. And it's Good old classic rogue deck. So, uh, it's a good old classic rogue deck. So, yeah, do leave a like if you did enjoy. Um, please don't dislike because I missed it. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and, of course, subscribe for more. But uh, up until tomorrow, hopefully I don't misclick again. And you do take care. And peace.